Hello guys, thanks so much for watching. Today we are doing a cooking video, finally. This has been requested for a while, so I'm really happy to finally get this out for you. And if you do enjoy it, give it a thumbs up and it will keep them coming. And I'm sharing three of our current favorite recipes with you. They are healthy, but they also are very satisfying and delicious. I'm the last person who's going to wrap like a few peppers and vegetables and a piece of lettuce and call it good. Like I need something satisfying and super delicious and all of these recipes are. So I think you guys are really going to enjoy these they also are not the kind of things that you have to be really specific about I am NOT a specific person when it comes to cooking I really don't like to follow like exact recipes where you have to have the perfect amount of things I don't cook that way so all these recipes are definitely up to like personal preferences and when you share different ideas throughout this video on how you can mix them up and all that good stuff so yeah I hope that you guys enjoy this please subscribe like hit the bell and comment down below and I will get back to you I get back to all my comments and let's get started. I'm going to begin with my guacamole recipe and that's because I share photos of this a lot on Instagram story and you guys are always asking what the ingredients are so I knew this was one you would want to see. And first up, I'm going to cut the avocados in half and remove the pits and then I'm going to cut them in a crosshatch pattern and this is just going to make it a lot easier when I mash them. And here's what it will look like when it's ready to go, but we're going to come back to this in a little bit because I'm going to prep out the rest of the ingredients, starting with red onion, and sometimes I do use a white onion by the way, but we're going with red today. I also am going to use jalapeno, fresh garlic, cilantro, lime, and tomatoes, and I will be prepping this all in the next few clips. And for any of you guys that typically stray away from jalapeno because you don't like spicy foods, I wanted to show you a great way to get the flavor without so much heat. So I'm just using a quarter of a jalapeno and then I removed all of the seeds from that quarter and I chopped it up really finely. So this is a very small amount, but it is going to add so much more flavor into the overall dish. I also am chopping up half the clove of garlic and after this, I'm going to move on to red onion and I'm going to cut that into a small dice. And up next are the cherry tomatoes, and a lot of recipes will recommend a larger tomato with softer skins, but I really love the crunch that you get from a cherry tomato, especially in guacamole, and so that's why I use those. And then I'm going to move on to cilantro, and I use a lot of cilantro. I'm going to save a little bit to put on top, by the way, and I just roll it all together because it makes it so much easier when you chop it. I also like to leave on the stems because it adds a little more crunch. I'm all about the crunch, as you guys will know notice and it really depends on how I'm eating the guacamole for a dip I will do it a little bit thinner like I'll show you guys today but we also will have this just like as a side dish with a protein for dinner so in times like that I do everything a little larger and chunkier And all I have left to do is season the avocado with salt and pepper and then I'm going to mash it up and I mash it first and then add the ingredients that way I don't smush them while I am mashing them so just do a little mash as much as you like stir it all together and then add in the ingredients and a lot of times I will save a little bit extra of all of the ingredients and then I will use it throughout the week for omelets and scrambled eggs and just add it into whatever breakfast dish I'm having that day I almost forgot the very last step which is the lime juice and I'm using half a lime today but sometimes I will use a little more or a little less. It really depends on how much avocado I have so just do a final stir and then put this into a bowl and add a little bit of cilantro on top if you like and this is good to go. It only takes me 5 or 10 minutes. It's so delicious all about the healthy fats and I'm eating it with a blue corn chip and doing my happy dance because it is so delicious but feel free to eat it however you like. Sometimes I also will put this on top of salads. It's great that way or eat it with a veggie stick, whatever you want. It's just so good, simple, and I highly recommend it. Yeah. 
And next up is our favorite taco recipe of the moment. This is super easy and delicious and also very versatile. We are using shrimp today, but we also have made this with pork and chicken. And if you guys are a vegetarian, then rice and beans would also be really, really good. I'm starting out by seasoning the shrimp and I'm using a seasoning blend that my husband made but he said it's very similar to tahini, which is super popular. If you've never heard of it, I will link it down below for you but it should be available at pretty much every grocery store. I ended up with about three spoonfuls of seasoning mix and then a few dashes of olive oil. That way they won't stick when they're cooking. And we actually made these outside on the grill because we use this at least a few nights a week in the weekend or a few nights a week in the summertime but feel free to just do this like inside on your stove in a skillet if that works for you best. Now for the sauce, I'm starting out with an aioli base and a chipotle seasoning and it basically is like a mayonnaise with lemon in it. So feel free to use regular mayonnaise and lemon juice instead of an aioli base because my husband made that so I wanted to use it up. I did a little less than a tablespoon of chipotle seasoning and a squeeze of lime and mixed that together and that is it for the sauce. And now for the slaw that goes on top, this also is really simple. I'm using a red cabbage which I absolutely love especially for salads because it's just so pretty. I swear it just makes everything look so much more appetizing because of the color and I cut out the center right there the core and then I'm going to chop it into really fine thin strips I'm going to throw this into a mixing bowl so I can just add a few things to it. First is some lime juice. And as you can see, I'm like really going at it. I like to pull out a little bit of the pulp as well because whenever I am doing tacos with seafood like fish or shrimp, I just think the more citrus, the better. I also am adding in salt and pepper and then a little bit of olive oil and I'm going to mix this all together. And it is so delicious. This also is something that will keep in the refrigerator for a few days as well. It doesn't get super wilty like a lot of regular lettuces do so this is a great one that you can make ahead and eat a few times throughout the week And here is how our shrimp are looking after a few minutes on either side on the grill. Super delicious. We also are using a corn tortilla and we put those on the grill for about 30 seconds on either side. So now I am ready to plate, ready to go, and I am using two tortillas for every taco. Honestly, the only reason I'm doing that is because that's how they do it at restaurants, but feel free to only use one tortilla if you like. And I'm adding about three or four shrimp on every taco. And then after that, I'm putting on the slaw and it's just so pretty like how amazing does that look i swear it just makes everything look so much nicer and more vibrant and just so much more appealing so i love slaw especially on tacos but honestly on pretty much anything in the summer it is one of our staples and on top of that is the chipotle aioli that we just made and then i'm going to add a little bit of cilantro and that is it sometimes we even will make a pineapple and mango salsa but i just wanted to show you guys the super quick super simple way to do this and i honestly really like this because it's great as leftovers like the next day i will just pull the shrimp out of the refrigerator all the other ingredients and eat it when it's cold and there's chad and i tasting it because it's just super delicious and you have to try it And the last thing is basically a simpler, more healthy and easy way to make a Dole Whip. This is super delicious, you guys. So all you need is one frozen banana, and then I'm going to add in pineapple chunks and just a splash of almond milk. Feel free to use whatever milk you like. That's just the kind of milk that we drink. And I'm going to blend this in the blender for at least 60 seconds until it is silky, silky smooth. And the banana is what will make it really creamy. The pineapple is just intense flavor. And then the almond milk just kind of helps like stir everything all together but it really is only those three ingredients and I feel like because it is so simple and probably doesn't sound as delicious as it is but you guys I honestly don't understand how this tastes so good it doesn't taste like it is super healthy it honestly tastes like it has like sugar in it or something because it's just amazing and Chad insisted I show you guys with the froyo spoons that we always eat this with but yeah it's just super simple and honestly this is way more delicious than I even could tell you. I wish you guys could just like taste it through the screen. And those 
those are all the recipes I'm going to share today. I hope that you guys enjoy them as much as we do. If you plan on trying any of them out, let me know in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Please subscribe and like if you haven't yet. Hit the bell to be notified whenever a new video is posted. I will link similar videos down below and a bunch of good stuff, so don't miss that. And I'll be back in a few days with a brand new video. Bye! Thank <laughs> you.